there are certain things for which the province of Newfoundland and Labrador is well known. Breathtaking scenery is one of them. A high proportion of resident artists and storytellers is another. Now more than ever, both of those are getting a chance to shine on TV and movie screens here in Hollywood and around the world. The province is no stranger to the film and television industry, but has become a veritable hotspot for movie and TV projects in recent years, bringing in about $100 million annually and providing close to a thousand jobs, according to government. Anyone who's been to Newfoundland and Labrador might agree, it's the perfect backdrop for the hallmark made-for-TV movies being shot here. And a look at Disney's official trailer for the upcoming film Peter Pan and Wendy confirms Newfoundland and Neverland are one and the same. How did you come to Neverland? Come visit on any given day in the summer and you're sure to catch a shoot in progress, whether it's home renos being done for HGTV's rock-solid builds, canine police detective Rex nabbing bad guys on the street in a scene from City TV's Hudson and Rex, or school kids dressed for a 1980s-era gym class for CBC's Son of a Critch. You might bump into Hollywood stars like Jason Momoa or Ben Stiller scouting locations for an upcoming project, Mila Jovovich and her daughter Ever Anderson heading out on a boat tour on their day off, or Malcolm McDowell having a cuppa on break between shots. McDowell, whose credits include a Clockwork Orange and Star Trek, stars in Set of a Critch. I mean, this place is practically maggoty with culture. It has become a second home. I felt very welcome here, very at home. Oh my God, this is heaven. The people of Newfoundland are very proud of the show. It says something rather heartwarming about this place, which is absolutely genuine. And you think Canadians are nice? Wait till you go to Newfoundland. I mean, it's nuts. Moving away to find work used to be a given for locals interested in working in film and TV. These days, it's a dream come true for those in the industry to be able to live and work in their home province. Patricia Andrews is an actor, makeup artist, and acting coach who returned to St. John's after working in Toronto and Los Angeles. Well, hey, Rita. She plays a recurring role as bartender Rita on Hudson and Rex. When I came back here, I had been away for almost 14 years. Now our industry, it blew up and it's so great. Newfoundland and Labrador is a golden pot waiting to happen. And the rest of Canada is starting to realize the talent that comes here on, from all levels and all ages and, and all genres. Andrews calls the province Hollywood North. As an actor, she's been busier than ever since returning home. As an acting teacher, she finds it extra exciting to see her students, especially children and teens, getting work on some big name film, TV and theater sets. I mean, we've had a lot of growth but the youth and the young people, even every show that I've been on this year myself, I've seen my students there. So it's really, it's really pretty cool. Last year, the province announced the establishment of a film school in St. John's. Renovations to the site are underway, but classes have already begun, meaning a new generation of filmmakers and crew can train for a career here at home. It's an exciting time all around, says Mark Critch, whose Son of a Critch TV series has given dozens of teenagers an opportunity to get involved in the industry as actors and background performers. Uh, when I was a kid, there was the idea of being in the arts on film and television. It, it was impossible. Like you had, you had to go away to Hollywood or at best Toronto to make a living at it. But these kids are all, you know, 12, 13, 14. They're not only seeing the performers perform, but they're also seeing the boom operator, the camera person, the PAs, the makeup artists, and they're looking around going, I could do this. And when it's happening in front of you, it's real and it's viable and you can see yourself doing it. And that makes all the difference.